Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. And so today we are going to be revisiting a true classic, Rome Total War. Now, given this game has already been quite around the YouTube block and been covered by pretty much every single Total War and History YouTuber out there, I'm not going to turn this into some super long video or 10 part Let's Play series. But for me, and I'm guessing it probably is for a lot of you who are here as well, Rome Total War was the game that originally got me into the Total War series, the, you know, the Total War franchise. So I obviously had to check out the remastered version to see what it's all about. The original game actually released way back in 2004, that is 17 years ago, which really feels kind of crazy. I remember playing it back then on the family laptop and having so much fun playing as the Romans and being just so amazed by what a fantastic game that it was. So of course we had to pick the Julii this time around. One of the first things that you're going to notice about the remastered version is the obviously improved visuals. You know, when you compare them to the original game, they feel significantly improved. Whilst, I guess, I guess it's kind of hard to describe, but they keep a lot of the similar aesthetics of the original game. And actually, I think that's really quite important. You know, we already have Rome Total War 2, and this is a remaster. It shouldn't be a whole new game. And so I feel like it kind of opens up the idea how much should be changed. Unit and battle graphics, I think it makes a lot of sense to upgrade these as features. I even love the way they've updated the campaign map. I mean, you know, it's so much clearer and graphically improved that it makes the gaming experience so much better. But it opens up the question of where do we draw the line? What is good and what is bad in a remaster? Then we come to sort of stuff that has been added into the game. And this is where things I think get a little bit more dangerous and the risk of kind of overstepping the mark and adding things that detract from the, you know, the original Rome Total War experience becomes a real possibility. You know, I think everyone is probably gonna have a slightly different opinion on this, but for me, I would kind of break it down into two camps quality of life improvements and then gameplay additions. So, for example, they have improved the camera controls, allowed camera map rotation, new diplomacy interface, heat maps, tactical maps, and these features are things that really improve the quality of life in the game. They really allow you to enjoy the game's existing features in a better way. You know, no one wants to purposefully use bad camera controls just because they were in the original game. But then we get things that have been added into the game, you know, extra gameplay. For example, things such as the merchants, which kind of feel to me a little bit like unnecessary additions. They weren't in the original game as an agent class, and the economic balance was fine. Why bother adding them in now? It doesn't feel like a necessary addition to the game, and it feels like you're just trying to introduce elements from other Total War games back onto this as an original. And for me, that seems unnecessary. Thankfully, there really isn't that much of it in Rome Total War Remastered. As I say, Merchants is one that really springs to mind, but there's really not too much changed, and it actually does still feel like that original core game. One of the interesting things that I did notice was that they claim to have improved the in-game AI during battles. In this battle, for example, I was actually kind of initially impressed. As I start to sally out of the city to attack my besiegers, they sort of fall back and secure the high ground to make my rival. Good move on their part. But then they just sort of sit there and wait for me to slowly dismantle their army. I pepper them with arrows and slowly work at the flanks without them really seeming to react in any meaningful way. So maybe slightly improved, but still some of the original Total War bugs. I guess in many ways it feels kind of nostalgic but it does allow me to pretty convincingly win the fight with over 2,000 enemy units killed for only a couple of hundred of mine and I'm far from the greatest Total War player ever. This is not Legend of Total War playing here. I'm not particularly exploiting the system or even playing very well. You know, it's so kind of a little bit frustrating that the AI don't function a little bit better. Heroic victory worthy of Roman arms! 
But despite these few little minor issues, the game has been overwhelmingly positive for me. I have really enjoyed being playing as the Julii and pushing north into Gallic territory. So far, we've pretty much captured and cleared out the top part of northern Italy. We've been pushing a little bit down the Adriatic coast, starting to work our ways towards Greece. But mostly our allies, sort of Brutii, um, sort of other Roman factions are pushing here, or trying at least, to capture Thermon. <laughs> Not necessarily sure entirely successfully. But it looks like we've got a little bit of a battle upcoming. Um, we've actually been besieged over here down in Narbo Martus. We'll go with. My Latin is perhaps a little bit lacking. Um, I think we should hopefully have enough to push them back. We've just replenished a lot of our units. Um, still got quite a few Hastati down here. We are building up our um, sort of better barracks to start to be able to build these Princapes, the heavy infantry. But we're not quite there yet. So yeah, let's get into a battle here. One other thing I just really wanted to quickly point out though was the alerts thing and the, the lists and the way they do things now. Really nice improved little quality of life change. Get little alerts for the main things, you know, settlement besieged, candidate for adoption, things like that. And then, but if you want to find your end of turn reports, recruitment reports, um, financial stuff and your upcoming missions from the Senate, then you can get all that sort of stuff there. And of course, you still have the usual stuff of trying to improve your standing with the Senate in classic good old Rome at Total War 1 fashion, which is something I always really, really enjoyed. So let's try and sally out then and see if we can drive off this barbarian army. Um, looks like we're going to have a... Uh, we pretty much match them on numbers and our troops should by and large be better. Minus the random six archers <laughs> and a few barbarian warbands that we've got here with us. So, let's get into the fight. Oh, here we go. We have loaded into the battle. Looks like the enemy is pretty much entirely warband. We've got their one unit of barbarian cavalry, which is probably going to be the hardest thing for us to deal with. Because we don't really have any cavalry of our own, other than some stragglers of a few barbarians. And I don't think our six archers are going to be cutting them down particularly effectively. Um, not a lot we could do really until we sally out. We've got a couple of town watch, which is going to make things a little bit difficult for us. Let's group up our Hastati initially. It's going to be our core infantry, and everyone else is basically just going to be an ancillary unit to sort of follow suit. Okay, let's start the battle, see what the enemy army does. They're probably going to pull back, I'm going to assume. Let's get the Hastati out and into line. Well, let's get the Hastati out first, because they do end up with always a bit of a traffic jam at the gates if we're not careful. Oh, actually, if they're going to leave like some straggling units behind, we can perhaps try and catch one of them as they pull out. Go on, Hastati. Catch up quickly. Go, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Wasn't particularly uh, particularly well well played there, but if they can catch up, just go for melee. You don't need to do anything more. Come on, cavalry, catch up. Is it going to happen? Yes, we're just caught to the back of one of them. Nice. Just while they're trying to reposition, if we can fight these one-on-one, -on -one, much easier for us, because we should be able to beat a warband pretty convincingly in this sort of fight. Particularly with our pretty elite unit of Hastati here. These barbarians look so much cooler with their bright blue road paint. Go on, stab him! Have him! Go on, lad. Get him! <laughs> I think that was very Latin. Hey-ho. Um, okay, let's get you to line up. Most of my stragglers seem to be out the gate, so let's get the uh, second the reserve contingent out. Because um, they're all over the place. Oh, Christ. Well, let's just keep them in hand. These guys are going to work route soon anyway, so it's not really a problem. And the rest of the team isn't really pulling back to help them. Kind of a bit like what we said, you know, earlier on, with some of the AI being a little bit sort of funky sometimes in their setup. Okay, let's get these set up. We've still got 42 minutes, so it's not really a problem. Bit of a traffic jam in the gate as always. I'm just going to abandon my random six archers there because I just don't think they're going to be a massive threat to me. Okay, everyone is out. Let's just match their front lines, basically. Marching in true glorious Roman order. Now everyone's out. Nice little formations. Just looks so much better. The visuals on this game are just vastly improved compared to what they were. Okay, let's get set up. And then I'm just going to... Oops, Daisy. It's not necessarily quite what I had in mind. Let's push it like that somewhat. Trying to get them set up just so they're in volley range. So they can just basically volley everyone in front of them. Okay, they're pushing out. If they're going to try and flank, we'll do there. We'll push these units on the flank. Here they come. Here come the barbarian hordes. There go the uh, peelers are going out. 
Okay, we're in, and the enemy cavalry charged straight across our front line, doing some pretty hefty damage there. Let's get that town watch straight into the fight, just to bulk up the Hastati lines. Get these guys out on the flank. Um, yeah, you can go in, you can go in, you can go in. Let's just take the rest of the fight to the enemy from the front. And let's start to think about getting the flanks on here. Let's get the first unit town watching. We should be able to flank these guys here and deal with them. Go on, let's get you stuck in there. I wish you had a multi-command so you could send people on waypoints. It would be so much easier. One of the things I'm most looking forward to in Manor Lords is being able to do that with the battles. Let's get charging in at the rear. Charge, my barbarian mercenaries. Ah, oh, lovely. Right across their back line. That should really start to route some of them, hopefully. Like on this flank here. Just get everyone straight in. Charge around onto the next flank. They're routed and dead already. So are they. Let's keep working our way along the lines. We should be able to mop up here pretty convincingly. Oh, our start here routing on this flank, though. A little bit more of a difficult fight. Probably the Barbarians, um, the enemy Warlord Cavalry has done that. Although he's kind of fairly depleted now. But we may end up fly flanking and routing here if we're not careful. Try and charge some of those Barbarian Cavalry. He's just being driven off the map here, which is worrying. And he's routing now the next one. As he's flanking down with his Cavalry. Causing me quite a few difficulties. Let's at least try and stop him from flanking this unit for starter here. With the charge. Oh, actually got a few kills today. Oh, good job, little barbarian mercenaries. Not bad. Uh, at least it gives the time for the rest of the team to kind of to retreat slightly as we're fighting through some of these warbands. And hopefully enough to kill the rest of these guys. Come on, keep fighting. Oh. Are we anyone reformed yet? No, it doesn't look like it. A whole lot's on the run. It was looking good, but we could be in trouble here if we don't start to recover. Hmm... I guess they'll reform in the uh, in the town, and I guess at least these guys are chasing us off rather than dealing with the uh, actually the rest of the enemy team. Let's just stick on fast forward. Come on, we should be enough here to easily overwhelm him. We're surely not going to run route the entire army from 15 people on horseback. Go on, kill the enemy general. There we go. There's the kill that we wanted. And that should get the rest of them to pretty much route now. Even though the rest of our army still hasn't managed to regroup themselves. Bloody Romans, useless. And these guys, which are supposedly routing, have kind of got a bit stuck. <laughs> uh, and they're routing from the field as well. Looks like they... Oh no, we've still got two guys here. Reform! How are these going? They're withdrawing. Okay, they're going to make a run for it by the looks of it. You can go for you. You can go for you. Let's just make sure we get them finished off. There we go. As we just wrap them from the field and make sure we get them cleaned up. Nice. Okay, good job. Clear victory. Nice, 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 nice. Though we did take quite a few casualties in doing it, we have now been able to at least lift our siege. And that really sums up my experiences so far in Rome Total War, the remastered edition. It's been a really enjoyable game and I've really been enjoying playing it. Certainly one I'm going to continue with, but probably just more on my own time rather than any other videos. Uh, it certainly feels like the original game, remastered. It kind of does what it says on the tin, I think. For me, pretty enjoyable. But anyway, hopefully you've kind of enjoyed this little video. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of an insight to what the game is about. If you haven't seen one of the 50 million videos on it already, um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for a lot more historical gaming content. Let's go with that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one.